One of the most beautiful and powerful things about crypto is that it's decentralized and open source. And there's so many developers always innovating on the tools that we have to operate with in the crypto world. And when it comes to Ethereum, there's something called Etherscan that I feel is not utilized enough and also not really known about enough because it's a very simple program, very simple platform that people like me and you can use. You don't have to be a dev in order to navigate Etherscan. Scan. In fact, a lot of people use it for very basic functions. And so in this video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know about Etherscan, which allows you to be basically an Ethereum blockchain detective. It's a block explorer and analytics platform that gives you unique detailed access to transactions, wallets, smart contracts that are operating on the Ethereum blockchain. While you're watching this video, please comment in the comment section which use of it you found to be most helpful and also which crypto topic you wish for me to cover in my next video. So let's dive in and explore Etherscan, the MRI and the CAT scan machine of Ethereum. All right, so the first thing you want to do is navigate over to etherscan.io and then over here you will see some generalized information. So for instance, Ether's price, the market cap, the difficulty, the hash rate. Remember, the more miners there are, the higher the hash rate typically and the higher the difficulty. The amount of transactions in total over the lifetime of ETH and a gas tracker estimate for gas price. And then over here we have latest blocks, latest transactions. I don't really navigate around these because they're a bit irrelevant to what I do on Etherscan. But if you're brand new and you're learning about Ethereum or crypto in general, definitely navigate around. And remember, anytime we go over something, if you don't understand a certain term, Google it, YouTube it, make sure you're learning as much as you can. For instance, here it says 38 GUE. If you don't know what GUE is, go ahead and Google it. YouTube it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to talk about the basics of Etherscan. So this is something that I do use right here where you can go ahead, type in any wallet address. And by the way, TXN, that stands for a transaction. So a transaction hash, a block, a token, you can type all of that in, you'll get a plethora of information. So let me show you an example. So I found this random wallet. And if I go ahead, type it in, and typically, honestly, I like to see all the tokens and ETH one holds in their wallet. I do this both for my own wallets, but also I do it for anyone else's wallet that, let's say, sends me like a public wallet address so that I can go and deposit something. Sometimes I'm curious, hey, how rich is this person or how much crypto does this person actually have? And since this is basically the public ledger of Ethereum's, blockchain you can do that type of stuff you can go ahead and search for certain wallet addresses and get a hell of a lot of information but remember this isn't going to tell you exactly the total amount the individual holds because they might have a lot of these types of wallet addresses they might have a bunch of trust wallet accounts or they might have metamask and a bunch of other ones so this isn't going to show you everything that the person holds and owns it's just going to show you that wallet address what's in it so this wallet address right here if we click search we see a lot of information so first of all we see the balance in ether so the ether value they only hold 22 dollars not impressive at all but look at the token balance 21 million and over here if we hit the drop down we could see exactly what they hold wrapped luna shiba inu uniswap scale all that jazz so there's a lot that they hold in here and the cool thing about Etherscan is you can always dive in further. Like if we click here, we get to see a lot more information like their net worth in ETH. We get to see the actual assets, the contact address, the quantity, price. But I want to go back and show you something else here. In Etherscan, you are going to see this a lot when you navigate to even internal transactions or ERC20 token transactions, anything like that. You are going to see this table right here. And so one thing you could do is you can click on the transaction hash and you can see a lot more information here so take a look at this the transaction hash that's basically the string of numbers and letters they refer to it as txid associated with the particular transaction and that's this right here the next thing is status and that's obvious that just shows you if the transaction has failed in progress or was successful now if you're not sure what block is that's basically the block number your transaction was included in you can also see how many times your transaction transaction has been confirmed. This is the number of blocks added to the chain after your transactions block. 
block. Now also the timestamp. This is obvious. It's a timestamp of the block your transaction was added to. The from section, that just shows you the wallet address that made the transaction, which is this one right here. The interacted with or to is the receiving address or smart contract. And we could see that right here. It says this is the contract. This shows you the tokens transferred. So from to and the amount it was transferred in. And then over here it shows the transaction fee, which is the fee paid for making the transaction and the gas price, which is the cost per unit of gas for the transaction. So as you can see, you can get a lot of information by searching for an individual wallet and you can see the individual transactions. Now the other thing I love to do on here is go ahead and use the gas tracker tool and you can find that under more and if you go to gas tracker you will see the Ethereum gas tracker they will show you the low, the average, the high. Remember with Ethereum you can always speed up the transaction by paying more but basically this shows you the hash, the difficulty and the gas data. And the other cool thing is is if we go back to Etherscan and we click on let's say hash rate over here it's going to show you a chart and you could go all the way back to July 2016 and see that the average daily hash rate was just 4,336 whereas today the average daily hash rate is well over a million and similarly we can take a look at the difficulty which is going to show somewhat of a similar chart because remember there's heavy correlation between the difficulty and the hash rate but if we take a look here July 4th 2016 independence day average difficulty was 57.434 whereas now it is well over 12,800 so going back to etherscan.io i'm going to show you one other thing that i absolutely love to do here so another use of this is to check a lot of detailed information about any type of erc20 token and i do this often so for instance if i type in Chainlink, i'll be able to see the Chainlink token which is more commonly referred to as link but what you can see here is an overview and a lot of this you can get from coin market cap right the price the fully diluted market cap max total supply but what you can't get is this the holder and I think this is a very important value because for Chainlink, sure, it's been around for a while. It's going to have a bazillion holders. But if there's a new token coming out and you want to make sure that you're one of the early adopters of the token, this is a really healthy figure right here. And also, it shows you a lot of the holders information. You get to really dive in and see the whale wallets, right? And remember, this right here, this stands for contract. So a lot of the top wallets, it's going to be a part of the project. But then you'll be able to actually see the whale wallets and this is helpful because remember for ERC 20 tokens or any of these new tokens you don't want the whale wallets to completely dominate because if they go ahead and sell off their holdings that can lead to a potential rug pull type scenario or just really really heavy selling which is going to obviously affect the price quite negatively and the selling pressure will cause the price to drop quite a bit and they have an analytics section here as well but I don't want to dive too deep into this I'll leave this all for another video now going back to etherscan.io I just remembered one other thing I wanted to show you when you're looking at a wallet there's a really fascinating thing here where if you click on analytics it will actually show you the ETH highest balance that this holder ever had the ETH lowest balance the USD highest value look at this there used to be 93 million in USD value in this one wallet that is bananas and over here you can actually see a chart of when that occurred so the highest price it looked like was around May 2021 and so this is helpful too again if your buddy sends you a public address and you want to take a peek and you see something like this and then you realize that this person is really really well off or made great crypto decisions it's interesting stuff honestly it's a little bit creepy because you're kind of just like diving into people's personal finances but i'll be honest uh, i've done this once or twice and the other interesting thing is you can even see the comment section which is actually funny here because it looks like this person said please pump scale like you did with req i'm waiting i don't know if they're being facetious i don't really follow these projects and i don't know whose wallet this is but it is kind of funny and over here someone is asking for a crypto handout which happens all the time if you guys can only see my email inbox and like the comment section when i make crypto videos there's so many of these that say oh you know i got this sad story or that sad story please send me a bazillion eth
Now, something else I'd like to highlight is the resources section here, because if you're heavy into crypto like I am, I'm knee deep or neck deep into crypto. I love this space. I'm fascinated by it. You could take a look at the charts and stats here, and there's a plethora of information. Some of this is really, really interesting. So again, whether you're new to Ethereum or you've been into ETH for a long time, taking a look at these stats and seeing how things changed over time can be so very interesting. And so I definitely highly recommend it. You can find that under resources. Now, another thing that I'll probably save for a different video is you can actually see the smart contract information and see which smart contracts you're currently engaged in. And this is important, again, if you're providing liquidity, you got all these contracts. And the cool thing is that a lot of people don't know is you can actually review and revoke access access to a wallet for any decentralized application which is more commonly referred to as dApps and you could do that with this token approval section here you would have to connect to web3 which is probably metamask i might make a separate video on this and then you just search by address or ens and then you could go ahead and get a lot of information there and let's say a website goes down so let's say you were into some new project and you were helping liquidity out or whatever contract you were in and then all all of a sudden the project goes south or it gets shady and the website goes down you can't even access it you can do it through etherscan a lot of people don't know this and this still says beta but it does work i've tested it so it's something that i actually recommend that you guys read up on and i will most likely make a video on it in the coming months so again guys videos like this takes a really really long time to make so i hope you appreciate it and if you do can you please give a like can you please leave a comment subscribe tell Tell your crypto friends about me and let me know which crypto project, options trading strategy, stocks, which investing topic you wish for me to cover next. And I will see you all in the next video.